Hey everyone, so I have my February Birch Box, so before I go into February's, I will do a quick review of the products that stood out from January's Birch Box. First thing is the Stila, this is a full size product, this is a waterproof smudge stick eyeliner, which I was so happy to receive this because this is something that I've been wanting for a while, and the color that I got is in Peacock, here's what the liner looks like. And here's a quick swatch on my hand. It's a beautiful color. Um, I really, you know, do like to wear sometimes some color on my bottom lash line. So I'm really happy to get this. It's a great product overall um, as far as the wear and not smudging on me. Next thing that stood out to me is the uh, Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy sample, which I'm happy that I have a little travel one now. But I'm honestly not going to buy this because my mother got me... Um, Miss Dior by Christian Dior for my birthday, so this is like, I'm in love with his perfume, so I'm not really big on perfumes, I'm okay with just having like one or two, and then little samples are fine. Next thing is by VMV Hypoallergenics, this is a basically all over lotion, and um, this is a cool concept, I wouldn't buy it though, but it's great that I have it for travel because it's an all over lotion, it has, um, it's hypoallergenic, it even has like some scientific studies like down here. And it's preservative and paraben free, and it's also like anti aging and fragrance free and renewal, whatever for your skin. So I'll, you know, use this for travel, but I wouldn't buy it. Next thing that I did not use yet is by Origins. This is their number one cleanser, and it's Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And I just, um, I don't know, I just haven't really had a chance to really use this one quite yet. It smells nice. Um, here's what it looks like. So, you know, this, I'm glad that I have this type of stuff for travel though. So, yeah. All right, so we'll go into February's birth box. Um, I've already opened it. The theme for this month is spotlights, which, you know, whatever, I'm not going to read it. So the first thing that I've seen, I, I did, of course, peek and watch a couple of videos, but I saw this um, Dermalogica, and this is a daily micro exfoliant, which the concept of this is really cool. However, I'm partial to Luscious Ocean Salt, but I will use this, um, you know, because I love face scrubs, especially, or, you know, micro exfoliants, I guess, in the morning. Um, I just think it gives my skin like a good radiant glow for the whole day. So here's what the container looks like. But the concept is really cool because it's a powder that you mix with water and just put on your face. So, you know, um, it's a pretty good size too. It's decent. Um, overall, this month's Birch Box, I wasn't 100% thrilled. I just kind of feel like they kind of missed the mark on this one, at least with me personally, but maybe I'll find something that I really like. But I don't know. I just think, you know, with the glam bag out, you know, you think they'd be stepping up their game, but I don't know. This month I was just, I was not so impressed. The next thing that I got is this Glow and Go Travel Puff, which is like a puff or whatever that puts color onto your face, like, you know, a powder. Um, type thing. This is just really, really odd to me. And the color that I got is in Kissed by the Sun, which is a golden bronzer. So obviously it's winter time. I will not be using this until the summertime. Next thing that I got, which I was slightly disappointed with, actually, because of the size and the value. I think that I calculated this to about like a dollar something, less than two dollars, but this is by Jouer, and it's a luminizing moisture tint with SPF 20, and it's also oil free. The reason why I'm so disappointed in this is just look how small it is. I mean, oops, oops, <laughs> let's try that again. So see how small it is? It's like the same size as my pinky, and to me, like, to use a face product like this, I kind of want to use it more than just once. Um, the color that I got is in bronze, and I it's slightly too dark for my skin right now, so this, again, is going to be another summertime product, so, or springtime. Next thing that I got, I cracked up laughing when I saw this. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Um, this is by iRock, and it's designer liners, and it's basically like a sticker eyeliner that you put onto your eye, like this chick right here. Um, I just, I would never be interested in using this. It's kind of like those tattoo um, lipsticks or whatever, the lip colors. I just, I would only see myself using this for Halloween. And let me show you what the stencils look like, because they're just ridiculously huge. Here's what the stencils look like. See my thumb? And see the eyeliner? See how thick that is? I just, yeah. I mean, I... And that goes on the inside part of your eye, too. So... I would only use this for Halloween or something, or, you know, maybe I can do someone's makeup for Halloween. But the thing that I don't like about this already is that each one of these is one sticker. And you actually have to cut the outline of the eyeliner out. Like, how annoying is that? You would think with, like, you know, modern, like, printing and stuff like that, they'd be able to make a sticker that just comes, peels off right off in the eyeliner, right? I don't understand. So, um, 
uh, yeah. Anyway, um, next thing was the two freebies, and this is cute. Um, this is a heart-shaped nail file. Really adorable. And then this is a, um, free music download for some band that I've never heard of called Green River Ordinance. So yeah, that is my February Birch Box. Um, you know, some boxes are hit and miss. This one is slightly a miss for me, but who knows? Maybe I will end up really, really liking, um, one of the products, um, that are, I think, more suited for spring and summer. But anyway, um, if you got a birch box, let me know what you got or leave a video response below. And thanks for watching.